All right, so the other day I reached out on Instagram and asked which classic tiki cocktail you all would like to see elevated. And it came down to some pretty close results. It came down between the Pearl Diver and the Fog Cutter. Well, I've done the Fog Cutter before in a different version. And I'll link a card up here and a link in the description below. So I thought to myself, well, I haven't done an original Fog Cutter. Why don't we do that one? So today, I'm gonna be taking a look at a Fog Cutter three ways. The original, a simplified version, and an elevated version. I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, so let's do this. So the original Fog Cutter was created in the 1940s by Trader Vic. Now, a lot of people don't know where the name came from. Some people think that it came from the fog that would roll over the San Fran Bay. Others think that Vic created it for a hangover cure. Honestly, we just don't know. What we do know is that it shares this kind of base classic recipe of Trader Vic's. We've got orange and lemon. We see that all the time. We've got orgia. We've got a triple different blend of spirits. We've got cognac or brandy, we've got gin, and we've got light rum. Vic used this in multiple different cocktails, including the famous Scorpion Bowl. But it's a little bit different in the Fog Cutter. We also are gonna include some sherry as a float and a couple other things. Now, honestly, I don't really like Fog Cutters. I think they are overly tart and just a mix of flavors that just don't blend well together in the proportions that they're in. And from the sounds of it, a lot of you don't either. You reached out to me and said, Andy, I've made fog cutters before and they just were meh. And I happen to agree with that. So let's make the original. We'll talk about it. Then we'll talk about some other versions. So let's see what we're gonna need to make the original fog cutter. We are going to need a lightly aged rum. I'm using Plantation Three Star. London Dry Gin. I chose Heyman's for today. Cognac or a brandy. I'm going with Pierre Ferrand's 1840. Sherry, now the original recipe does call for cream. I'm using an Amontillado because that's what I happen to have on hand. Orgia, orange juice, and lemon juice. So there you have it. Those are the original ingredients. Overall, they don't sound super terrible because they're not, but it's kind of the proportions that they're in that make the original fog cutter not that great of a drink, to be honest. So let's build this cocktail and then we'll sip on it and we'll talk about some other cocktail, some other variations of this cocktail. So in your shaking tin, you are going to combine two ounces of lemon juice, one ounce of orange juice, a half an ounce of orgia, one ounce of cognac or brandy, a half an ounce of London Dry Gin, and two ounces of lightly aged rum. Add crust ice to your glass. Shake for about five to eight seconds. Now the original was served in a actual fog cutter mug, which I don't have, so I'm gonna use my most bland tiki mug. Pour in, open pour into your tiki mug. Top with more crushed ice. Float a half ounce of sherry on top. Garnish with mint and a straw. So there you have it. As you can see, there's a lot of citrus in this cocktail and not a lot else. There's also a lot of like oddly blended booze in here. So honestly, I don't think it's that good of a cocktail. I'm also not a huge fan of floats, to be honest. I feel like why not just mix it in the cocktail? But I wanted to present this in the most authentic way possible, minus the mug because I just don't happen to have one. Now there's also a couple ingredients in here that just aren't commonly found on a tiki bar, right? Cognac or brandy, not super commonly found. Sherry, definitely not commonly found. So I wanted to create a simplified version of this that would actually elevate it a little bit, make it a more well-balanced cocktail, and also only include the stuff that we find on a traditional tiki bar. So let's see what we're gonna need to make this simplified version. We will need a lightly aged rum. Again, I'm using Plantation Three Star. A London Dry Gin. Again, I chose Heyman's. A 
orange liqueur. I'm going with Pierre Ferrand's Dry Curacao, Orgia, orange juice, and lemon juice. So as you can see on the simplified version, I omitted a few things, such as the brandy slash cognac and the sherry. But Andy, how do we make up for those flavor profiles? Good question. Well, we're swapping out the cognac with a dry curacao. Specifically, staying in line with the same brand, we're going with Pierre Ferrand's. Now, dry curacao has a cognac base. So we're still gonna get those barrel notes that we get from the cognac, but it's gonna be something that most people have on their bar because, well, it's used in Mai Tais. So, of course you do. Now, what about the sherry? Well, honestly, the sherry is only a half ounce float. And if you mix it in, it really doesn't add a ton to the flavor profile. Now, if you were to sip off the top of the original, sure, you're gonna get it. And it's gonna add this kind of like sharp, nutty note to it. But as you see, we'll kind of rebalance the cocktail so that the orgia shines through a little bit more in my simplified version. So let's build that. In our mixing glass, we are gonna combine one ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of orange juice, half an ounce of orgia, half an ounce of orange liqueur, one ounce of London dry gin, and two ounces of lightly aged rum. Add crushed ice to your glass. Shake for about five to eight seconds. This time we're not gonna use a tiki mug. Open pour into a Collins glass. Top with more crushed ice. And garnish with a mint sprig and a straw. And there we are. Something that almost everybody at home with a traditional tiki bar could make, right? It's in a Collins glass. We don't have any fancy mugs. We're swapping out the cognac for dry curacao. Everyone should have that. And it's normal ingredients. Maybe the London dry gin you might not have, but it's a pretty common ingredient. And it's actually the second most used based spirit in tiki. So if you don't have a London dry gin on your bar at home, I highly recommend you pick up one. And Heyman's is fantastic, by the way. No, they did not sponsor this episode, but if Heyman's, if you're watching and you want a sponsor, reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to spotlight your gins. Anyway, there you have my simplified version. We rebalance the cocktail a little bit. It's not going to be as tart, a little bit more on the sweet side for the modern palate, and we're gonna allow that orgia to shine through a little bit more. But we can elevate this even more, right? Think like tiki speakeasy elevation, right? Like if I'm standing back here and I've got a leather apron on and suspenders and I've got tattoos down my, I'm just kidding. But anyway, I'm sure somebody's gonna be offended by that and I apologize ahead of time. Anyway, let's take a look at an elevated version of this cocktail and what we're gonna need to make that. So to make our elevated fog cutter, we are going to need London dry gin, Amontillado sherry, orgia, acid adjusted orange juice, and saline solution. All right, so our elevated version is even less ingredients. Now, some of them aren't super common and I get it, it's fine, but the whole goal of this kind of elevated version that I wanted to go for was kind of like what you would experience in a craft cocktail bar today. Now, the simplified version that I talked about earlier could absolutely be served in a craft cocktail bar, but a lot of times nowadays, we're looking at slightly different cocktails that we find elevated or modern. So I wanted to kind of take that approach to it. I wanted to use some modern techniques. We're using saline solution to enhance the flavors, acid adjusted orange juice to negate or drop the lemon juice, uh, remove that dilution and simply get the acidity from that lemon juice in our orange juice. Now we are negating the kind of uh, orange curacao or cognac from the original version and my simplified version. And yes, but the extra, take that back, but the less dilution in this cocktail really allows that acid adjusted orange juice to shine through. And so we're getting a very similar flavor profile. We're still using the orange, the orgia. And this time I'm gonna omit the lightly aged rum. I know, is it still tiki? Of course it is. I wanted to create a flavor profile that really enhanced the dry gin and the sherry from the original cocktail. I think those two pair super well together. And with the orange and the orgia, we've got an orange and nutty, it almost tastes like a creamsicle. So let's build this cocktail and then we'll talk a little bit more about all three of them. So in your mixing glass, combine three drops of saline solution, three quarters of an ounce of acid adjusted orange juice, three quarters of an ounce of orgia,
One ounce of Amontillado Sherry. And one ounce of London Dry Gin. Add cube dice to your glass. At this point, you wanna grab a double rocks glass and a large cube. Drop your large cube in and let it temper so it doesn't crack when we pour over it. Give your shaking tin a nice shake for about 12 to 15 seconds. Double strain over the large cube into your double rocks glass. Grab a single mint leaf, give it a nice little slap, and place it right on top of that large cube. And there you have it, my elevated fog cutter. Now, this isn't your traditional fog cutter, right? We rebalance a lot of things, we drop some things out. So at this point, I don't feel comfortable calling it a fog cutter. Instead, I'm calling it Lost in the Mist. Kind of a play on the original name. But anyway, as you can see, it is a different format cocktail with very fewer ingredients. We're going to lower that dilution from the different ingredients. We're going to enhance those flavors with that saline solution. And we're going to use some modern techniques in acid adjusting. Let's take a look at all three of the cocktails. We're going to sample them side by side and see how they do. All right, so there we have it, all three versions of my fog cutter. Let's try them. We're going to start with the original, and then we'll go all the way down to my elevated version. So let's try the original first. Whew. That is a super tart cocktail. That two ounces of lemon juice is doing a lot of work there. Uh, the Orgia is barely present. The London Dry Gin is barely present. The rum is just adding alcohol, so I know there's alcohol in this cocktail. But honestly, for a modern palate, I really don't think this cocktail fits anymore. Let's go on to my simplified version. All right, now that is a much more well-balanced cocktail. The lemon is not front and center. It is complemented by the orange juice. We still get the orgia, we still get the gin, and now a little bit more of it, and now we're still getting that light rum. And then that kind of orange flavor is being accentuated by that dry curacao. Let's move on to my elevated version. All right. So it is, it's a different cocktail that falls in line with these two. And honestly, I don't disagree with that at all. It is a different cocktail. The Amontillado Sherry is very, very front and center in this cocktail. It is surrounded by this creamy orgia that's accentuated by this orange juice, but it's balanced between the sweetness and the sour with the acid adjusted orange juice. And then that gin is adding a wonderful botanical back note to the entire cocktail. So there you guys have it. Fog cutter three ways, the original, simplified, and an elevated version, or what I would consider an elevated version. Let me know what you guys think. Is this true? Is this the original, a simplified, and an elevated version? Drop a comment below. Let me hear your thoughts. This is a brand new segment for this channel. I would love to do more of them. Take classic cocktails, maybe ones that are kind of convoluted or not, do a simplified version if I need to, and then do an elevated version on what I think today's modern palette may enjoy in a format that a lot of people expect at a craft cocktail bar today. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click that little notification bell so you know when I drop new videos. Follow me over on Instagram at Easy Tiki Drinks. And until next time, guys, I got nothing else. So you know the deal. Take it easy.